Alrighty guys, Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Deal Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright, Jaron Dauk. I hope I pronounced your name right. Okay, Jaron went ahead and he pushed his console off the website from us. He wanted a special edition Gears of War. Well, here it is, brother. She's all done. 320 gig drive, up on the line servers, along with a 10-day trial of the Purge for GTA 5. We're going to go ahead we're going to boot this right now. And with an insane amount of luck, it'll boot. And you watch me build this thing on Facebook right in front of your face so you know exactly what it's got and exactly what's in it. Okay? Right down to every solder point. All right? Now, we're booting up into FSD Dash. We're going to get a notification from the server letting us know it's online live and all that other happy nonsense. All right? There you are. Okay? And now we're going to roll through this thing. And I'm going to show you what you got. Okay? So, here we go. Pay attention. All right? Let's see here. Here we go. Okay. Hundred emulators. Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and may make complement ROMs on there that will keep you busy for a long time and then some. Over 4,000 of them. Xbox Classic Games. Okay. Brothers in Arms, uh, Halo 2, and Halo uh, Grand Theft Vice City, uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, and back to Brothers in Arms. Those are for the original Xboxes. Okay. Homebrew section, Dash Launch, XM360, XCX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Name, Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade, a myriad, mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including Trailer Park King, one of my favorites. And then, of course, we have the meat of the system, which happens to be our Xbox 360 games, okay? So, we'll go through this. We have Advanced Warfare, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Saints Row the Third. Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo, CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bolt Storm, Epic Edition, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and Back to Advanced Warfare. Now, alright, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here, click on Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. And there you are, which is the way to the original dashboard. You're on dashboard 17559, and you currently have 30 reserve days left. Got it? Good? Okay. Bypass the sign-in. And as you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. And then over in our fifth tab, our ghost cheats and Modern Warfare 3 cheats. To get back up with the dash, just smash the, a, just smash the a button and Xbox Home, and that will take you back. Now. All right. Jaren. Listen. There's a certain way that you have to start this thing up for the first time, okay? And uh, this is a one-shot deal to get it up on your network, all right? So what you're going to do, before you plug it in, I want you to grab hold of the drive door. I want you to pull the hard drive out. I want you to slip it up there. And then what I want you to do, I want you to power the system on. Once you power the system on, you're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. When you come to the Blackboard screen, slide to the right. Go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings. Under Network Settings, you're going to see your Wi-Fi access point pop up. Click on it. Put your password in. When you do, it's going to initialize a test. It's going to check mark off land. It's going to fail on Internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. Once it completely fails, shut the system down. Then, put the hard drive back in. Seats with a click. Just like that. Take your drive door. Pop it on. Pull the power supply. Let it sit. Five minutes. Okay? You want to clear the SMC. You want to drain the capacitors. Make everything fresh, new, blah, 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 okay? Then, once that's done, okay, what you do is plug it back in, power it on, and guess what, buddy? You're good to go. So listen, brother, thank you for your business. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thank you so much. Guys, you all have a good one. I'll let you later. I'm on to my next one.